to get started with our project, what we need to do, we need to download this data code from the link below. And if you have this data code, what you need to do, you need to extract the zip folder, the zip file. You need to extract, you just need to double click. And now we have our file here. So the next thing that we're going to do is to go ahead and open this folder in VS Code. So I'm going to create, not to create, but I'm going to just open VS Code most probably, but you need to create a new window and you drag and drop the folder in a new window. After doing that, this is the, the folder structure. So we have app folder where we are going to store everything. That's our components, our constants, contexts, hooks, navigation, screens, and right outside we have assets. And here we do have our app.json. So I'm going to introduce this a little bit later, but for now, what we need to do, we just need to go ahead and open the terminal and then we install our dependencies. We're not going to be installing dependencies mid session. So what we're going to do is to just install all the dependencies right before we get started. So let's take a look at our package.json. So in our package.json, we have all the dependencies that we need to, to create this application. Okay, so these are dependencies that we're going to install now and then we can get started with our project. So right in our terminal, we're going to run the command npm i or npm install. So both of the commands will achieve the same thing, which is to install dependencies. So that's what we want to do now. So let's go ahead and hit enter. After hitting enter, we have to wait a little bit while list our dependencies are installing. But just to utilize the time that we have while it's there installing, we're going to just go ahead and introduce the folder structure. So right in our components, this is the folder where we are going to store all the components that we're going to use for this application. And at the moment, we have two components, which are, so we have a horizontal shimmer and a reusable shimmer. So this, they'll work in hand in hand. We're going to use them to create shimmers for our application. So we use shimmer when our data is loading. So instead of using an activity indicator, we're going to be using shimmer to show our loading. So that's all in our components. In our constants, we're going to have the colors that we're going to use for this particular application, the sizes that we're going to use as well as well as shadows okay and we're just going to export them here the approach that we are taking we're going to start working on our ui before we integrate our our backend so we need data for that so our data is going to be in this particular file ui data so in this file we have categories we have restaurants we have foods and we have cart so this is the data that we're going to use and we have profile as well. So this is the data that we're going to use when we're creating our application. Right at the bottom, we're just going to export the data so that it can be accessible within our application. So that's it for constants file. Right at the bottom, we have context. So we're going to be using use context hook to pass context through our application. So we're going to have cut count context, login context. This one is supposed to be a restaurant context. This one is a little bit complicated. We'll take care of it and talk about it a little bit more. And we have user context, user location context, and user reversed geo, geo code context. So all our files are the same. Okay, so first we're going to import create context from React and then we're going to export name of the file. Okay, so this name has to be the same as the name of the file. So if you take a look here, this name is the same as this name that we have up on top. And here we're just going to create context and initially it's going to be now that goes for all the files context name, which is the same as the file name and then create context now. So for all it is the same for hooks it's an empty folder we don't have any anything for now and for our navigation we only have one navigation which is the bottom tab okay so you know bottom tab we're going to have four four tabs four tabs the first one is going to be home second one is going to be search third is going to be the cart and the last one is going to be the profile okay so that's it when it comes to our tabs and in screens, we have 
the pages, the components that we're going to hook to the to our bottom navigation. So these are the only pages that we've created. We have the home, cart, profile, and search. The four pages that we are hooking to our bottom tab. To our bottom tab are the only screens that we've created so far. So this is all. And right before we even get started, so in our app.json, app.json, it is set up in a way that we don't have to touch it anymore when we start working so what you need to do here you need to go ahead and put a package name for your application so inside android you need to add this config in this config you're going to add you're going to add the package right after the package we need a google maps api okay so this is important. We need an API. So we're going to go ahead and just see how we can create the API and hook it up here. But for mine, it's already set. So yours, this is going to be, it's going to be like this, but you need the API. The permissions and expo location, all these are set up for you beforehand. So you don't have a problem. So the only thing that you need to do when you get in your package.json is to go ahead and put the API key. Okay, so that's all. Right now, let's go ahead and do one more thing, which is to try to run the application. And after we run the application, we're going to go ahead and go to our Google console and then try to get the key together. Okay, As, even if I have the key, we have to just run through the process so that some people won't be left behind during the process. Okay, so right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to run the application. So to run the application, I'm just going to run the command npx expo start. Okay, and we just need to hit enter. Okay, so here we're going to use expo to run our application and I'm going to use an iOS simulator to do that. So I'm going to press I. So it might take a little bit for the simulator to open, but it will open eventually. So here, the simulator is opening. We have to take a first look at our application before we even we start working. Because in most cases, our starter code is, is working fine. Everything is working fine. We have our bottom tab. We can switch pages. So what we need to do, we need to start working. And one other thing before I... I go on to the next part is to just tell you like all our phones that we're going to use for this particular application are loaded already so we don't have to load phones the phones are loaded okay and we have dependencies that we're going to use so I might not import anything while least I'm working on this page because they are already there and you already have them without wasting time let's go ahead and try to get our key from from Google and then we can proceed with our work